guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to yo-yo. But there's a thing. I'm going to have to teach you in under five minutes. So, yeah. So, first step, how to learn yo-yo is, first off, of course, get a yo-yo. And, um, Jaden, say hi. Hello. Um, yep, I'm at, um, Jaden's house. So, let's get started on how to yo-yo. So, first step. It's just to practice almost throwing it. Throw the yo-yo down. Don't bring it up or anything. Just throw it down. But then this is the thing. Then you're going to do it. When you feel it hit the bottom, you pull up. You feel that. You hit it. But make sure it doesn't hit the ground since that will mess you up. So when you, hit, when you feel it hit that invisible force. So like say I'm throwing it. There's going to be an invisible force right before it touches the ground. Once you feel it bounce, you're going to pull up. But this is a thing. It's not going to always come up without you doing anything. So you, when you're pulling, you don't just got to pull. You also got to, if it doesn't get up to your arm fast enough, if it doesn't get up to your arm, then you have to pull down to catch it like this. Oops. <laughs> I messed up. So, yeah. So make sure just to keep practicing that first off. It's one of the main moves that you got to loan. You got to loan to like yo yo. Got to make sure like you got everything like boom down. And make sure once you like that invisible force, you got to instant react. You can't just wait like 10 seconds and then pull up. You can't do and then pull up. Since that will most likely have that happen. Well, you won't be able to catch it like this. Like that. You don't want to do that. And then once you get that down, you're going to work on that. Yep. So, one of the ones, of course, like, like I said before, you're just going to want to practice it throwing until you feel that invisible force. So, it's going to hit that invisible force. And then when it hits that invisible force, just don't try catching it. And then just do your normal, um, the move that we ju I just taught you. When it hits invisible force, then you just do this. You don't pull it, and then you just have it. And then, then you just grab the yo-yo sense. When you do it, you're not going to be able to catch it. So, like this. When it hits that invisible force, don't try catching it. But then just do the move that I just taught you, this move, to catch it. Like this. Like that. So then we're gonna work on to actually do, get it. And you feel it, touch that invisible force. You're gonna pull just like last time. But this one takes much, much more practice. And just like I said, you gotta bring your arm to the yo-yo. But this one, you know, I don't usually have to bring it that much. Usually, you might just have to bring it a little to catch it easier. But see, when I do it. I usually don't have to bring my arm closer, so see if Oops, I messed up up there. But yeah, so you gotta keep practicing all these moves. Remember when once you feel it hit that invisible force, then you're gonna come back to you. But you still gotta pull. Since if I let me show you what happens if you don't pull. It will just literally go to the bottom. All the way down there. And you can't get close. So when it when it hits that invisible force, you pull to you. And make sure to just to keep practicing. See you in the next video.